Have you ever had a bittersweet feeling of a trip coming to an end? Have you ever been excited for that last flight of the trip even though you know that may be your last flight for a while? Have you ever been on a flight where you reflected on a whole trip? Today we experience this and much more on a United Airlines Boeing 737-900 in the economy product from Denver to Tulsa on my way home from Airliners International 2022 in Chicago. Without any further delay, let's get into this everybody. Welcome to Denver International Airport everybody. DIA is one of the coolest airports out there in my opinion. From the unique mix and match infrastructure to the diverse plane spotting, this airport is one of my favorites out there. Feel free to check out the infrastructure and plane spotting videos from DIA on my channel. They were jam packed. After an epic 2 hour layover plane spotting and exploring DIA, I made my way over to Turnable B to grab a quick dinner and locate our gate for today's flight, Gate Bravo 10. Alrighty everybody, here we go with our seat in seat 34F. As you guys can see, we have some beautiful views out here including Terminal A with British Airways' Boeing 777-300 and Iceland Air's Boeing 757 Hecla Royal Special Livery. Super cool to get to see both of those. And then we also got the park next to United Airlines' Sustainable Fuel Boeing 737 MAX 8. That was fantastic. Here's our seat back as we'll take a more detailed look here in just a minute. 1130 is our flight number. We're going to Tulsa, Oklahoma where it's currently overcast skies. Uh, yeah, they're just talking about cloudy conditions. Gusty winds. Current temperature is uh, nice and warm there, about 93 degrees. You gotta get my better seat. Once we get airborne, it's a short one hour and 15 minutes. A little bit of bumps right after takeoff. The oh. Titanic did come to the yeah, seat. We'll close the door here at this moment and on our way. It's uh, been an hour and 15 minutes since we've the wheels down. While service to the location, take these are some priorities to pick up in. And here we go with the pushback everybody. Be sure to stay on the lookout for the full pushback and engine start videos that will be coming out very soon. We would have a rather short taxi over to runway 34 right for our departure today. There's going to be some really cool views on the taxi out, so let's take a look at those. And anywhere light takes you. Thank you, man. And here we go with our takeoff on runway 34 right, everybody. Be sure to stay on the lookout for the full takeoff videos that will be coming out very soon.
Alrighty everybody, so let's get started with our seat back right here. So first and foremost, I'll start with the reading light as I need to adjust that so that you guys can see what was going on right here. So very nice with the reading light right there. There's our leg room, pretty good amount, really pleased with that. And there was plenty of room for my bag and everything. So I was very appreciative of that. Now let's get started with the Boeing 737, 800, 900 safety card. These safety cards are very important for our safety and I really appreciate United Airlines' clear illustrations on these. So really good job. I've seen some very safety cards over the years and I thought United did a really good job on there. So I really appreciate that. And here's the Hemisphere magazine. So really cool how United still has the Hemisphere magazine compared to other airlines like American. I think Delta doesn't have them anymore. I could be wrong on that, but I know for sure American does not. But as you guys can see, you got the various amenities in here. I tried to get the route map app to show you guys what our route was, but unfortunately that wasn't working very well. Same for the seat back pockets. That was kind of broken off, but luckily the panel on the right side right there was in good condition. So that was very appreciated. Here's the tray table. The only major complaint I would say is there's no cup holder area, but that's okay. As long as there's not major turbulence, you should be good to go there. And there is our, uh, there is our in-flight entertainment screen. Excuse me, as you guys can see, there was a PA announcement right there, but there's the ring light, the air conditioner unit, and it looks really good over here. And the seat belt was also very nice. And here's a view outside on the wing, looking fantastic. What a cabin right there. Fantastic job by United. While climbing up to 37,000 feet, I decided to try the headphones and the in-flight entertainment. And the headphones, they were honestly pretty good for free. I was super happy with those, but the in-flight entertainment was completely broken. The remote was not working at all, and this was super disappointing, but I can't complain. There were some great views. Let's dive into some detail on United Airlines Boeing 737-900 fleet, the Denver to Tulsa route, and my reflection experience on this flight. United Airlines has a fleet of 136 Boeing 737-900ER aircraft, which is a large portion of their huge 329 Boeing 737 family aircraft. These aircraft range from original United Airlines aircraft delivered throughout the 2000s to the recent additions from carriers across the world. Our aircraft today is November 78448, a roughly 10-year-old Boeing 737-900ER for United Airlines. Overall. I think the Boeing 737-900ER is a great aircraft with a really nice product for United and it has a really nice purpose in their fleet. The Denver to Tulsa route is a pivotal route in the Tulsa network but also a nice piece of the puzzle for Denver as well. This route typically serves about 175,000 passengers annually which is the second busiest route out of Tulsa in a typical route for Denver. Both Southwest and United are players on this route while Frontier has made some noise in the past. This route is typically a little over an hour long and provides some great views of the western midwest. I'm a huge fan of this connection of the two cities and I am certainly excited to fly on this route more often in the future. As I reflect on this whole trip and this flight, I'm really at a loss for words. The experience and memories I made at Airlines International 2022 are one of a kind, and I am so thankful and grateful for those experiences. I got to meet so many people that love my passion, and that is truly irreplaceable. I am so excited for Airlines International 2023 in Dallas, Texas in June of 2023, and I hope to see you there if you're able to go. Nevertheless, this flight was a bunch of fun and was flying by, no pun intended, so it was already time to descend to the Tulsa area. We would make one slight right turn to line up for only 18 left for our arrival today. As we do so, I will conclude my experience and give my final thoughts on this flight. Let's get into it, everybody. I thought United Airlines did a really good job with this flight. I had a great time flying on board their Boeing 737-900ER and getting back on one of my favorite routes. United Airlines' Boeing 737-900ER product is really solid providing a quality seat, good service, and diverse entertainment. Certainly more than acceptable for this short one hour hop in my opinion. In addition, I really enjoyed reflecting on this amazing trip and taking it all in. What an experience. Be sure to stay on the lookout for all the in-flight videos from this leg of the trip, the Tulsa International Airport conclusion vlog, and the upcoming trip report from various trips ahead starting out with my DFW airport day trip with American Airlines but with all that being said here's our landing on the runway 18 left at Tulsa International Airport enjoy everybody
Welcome to Tulsa everybody! We'll have a very short taxi today over the gate Bravo 8 designated by the arrow on your screen. Let's head over there. Thank you guys so much for watching this trip port with United Airlines and their Boeing 737-900ER from Denver to Tulsa. Be sure to stay on the lookout for all the in-flight videos from this leg of the trip, the Tulsa International Airport conclusion vlog, and the upcoming trip reports from American Airlines, but nevertheless, that will do for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger of Aviation, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy everybody, stay safe, trust the process, do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Dredger of Aviation is signing off.